Okay, Mike is on. I'm kind of nervous for this video, I'm not gonna lie. Is coding going to remain in demand in 2023? Is it still worth to learn how to code? If you are having these thoughts, you are definitely not alone. Uh, my DMs have been filled with these comments. Tiff, do I still learn how to code? Is it worth it? I'm seeing things like ChatGPT, all of these AIs coming out, and essentially they can do what I can do, but better and faster. What am I needed for? If you have had these thoughts, I am here with you. And I've also seen a lot of posts out there, a lot of developers being like, the only way you're going to die out is if you don't adopt these tools. If you adopt them, you're going to succeed. Well, I'm here to tell you some jobs, regardless of how much you adopt this technology and these AIs, some jobs are still going to be overtaken. I'm going to explain to you and really get into that very shortly here. But before we do that, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech coding and career related content. Leave in the comments any questions you have, any thoughts, any opinions. I want to hear it all. And as always, I answer every single one of your questions or comments. You can challenge me to that by leaving a comment down below a question and I'll do my best to answer it. All right, let's jump into it. One thing I really want to highlight is the term coding itself is such a generic term. It can mean so many different things. What are you coding? What are you building? What languages are you working with? Are you working on data science? Are you working on web development? What's the purpose of your coding? So when we ask questions like, is coding going to remain in demand? It's really asking this very generic question that you can't give a specific answer to. Now that being said, of course, we are going to try and answer it. As I was mentioning, I keep on seeing all of these posts about how if you don't adopt the technology or the AI, you will become obsolete. But if you do, you're good, easy, good to go. The reality is that's not the case. A lot of jobs, regardless of how much you adopt to the technology and to using these AIs in your everyday life, some jobs are still going to be overtaken, including a lot of jobs in technology. It would be so silly to think that our jobs are somewhat special or they are exempt from technology taking over other tech workers' jobs. That's not the reality, but it's not all doom and gloom. And what I mean by that is I think what will happen if I'm giving my personal, my Tiff and Tech opinion is we're going to see coding continue to be in demand, but it's going to be looked at more so as a tool in your tool belt. I feel like that's a horrible example, but what I mean by that is gone are the days where you can get away with being these super crazy developers who you know you're amazing at coding, but that's the only skill you have. You could be the best coder on the planet or self-proclaimed, but you don't have any social skills, team building skills, collaboration skills, you just want to code. And maybe there are still some instances where that is fine in different companies, but if we are talking about being in demand as a coder at a company, those days are pretty much gone. You cannot just let the code speak for yourself or get hired just based on being this amazing coder. And some of you might be thinking, well, Tiff, actually, yes, you can. They need specialists, they need that. Yeah, they do, but guess what? You can be a specialist, you can be an amazing coder and also have other skills to go alongside it. And I really wanna bring this up because I think a lot of times, especially when I first started to learn how to code, I would come across or meet these senior engineers who were not so personable, let's say, or didn't seem to have very many other qualities other than their self-proclaimed being amazing at coding skills. And what I'm seeing more and more now is because coding is becoming more accessible, people are able to learn it quickly with all the resources out there, even with the tools, thanks to AI, what's happening is people are also developing other skills. They're learning how to code, but they're also public speakers. They're also great collaborators. They're also great educators. And what's happening is coding isn't becoming less in demand, but people who possess multiple skills, not just coding skills, are becoming more in demand. I hope that makes sense. Is that clear? Leave down below if that's clear or not. I guess what I'm trying to say is coding itself isn't going anywhere. It will continue to be in demand. Yes, certain jobs within coding will maybe fall to the side and whatnot, but if you are someone who is continuing to learn and upskill, you're fine. As long as you're also someone who's willing to possess other skills, other human skills. I think more and more as AI takes over a lot of jobs or a lot of tasks 
the human skills that we possess will become more important. And that sounds so silly, but it's really true. The human skills around collaborating, working together, being a good team player, showing up on time, those are important not just to business people anymore, they're important to people who are developers as well on the tech side of things. And more and more we will see that collaboration happening, that gap closing closer and closer versus being able to solely rely on just one skill set or being the best at one thing or amazing at one thing, but you need to now have many different things, many different tools. Okay, so Tiff, you're asking yourself, give me a recipe, give me one, two, and three, step one, two, and three, what should or shouldn't I do? I'm gonna tell you here. Yes, if you're learning how to code or you're interested in coding, still learn it. There are so many opportunities out there for you. It's expanding and growing so quickly. I think sometimes we see the news or articles about all of these tech, layer, tech workers being laid off, which is terrible, but the reality is, tech is still actually one of the fastest growing industries and it will continue to be so. And technology isn't going anywhere. We're continuing to grow at such a fast pace that having the skills and understanding of coding is so important. And not only that, but even if you don't want to be a coder for the rest of your life, being able to understand what code it does and how it works, being able to speak about code in a way that other programmers can understand is so important. I mean, look at myself. I started my career, you know, completely not in tech, in fashion and modeling, switching into learning how to code, going to a boot camp, becoming a software developer for the past five plus years, and then transitioning into a developer advocate role. So focused more on the community and educational side of things. But if it wasn't for my understanding of code and my background of technology, I wouldn't be able to do this. And that continues to trickle in so many areas of my life. And I'm using that example because regardless of if you can see yourself coding forever or not, it's still such a great skill to learn. And I think we need to start looking at coding less like a, only as a career path, but more something we should all learn uh, and continue to grow our skills into varying degrees. I know a lot of high schools now are teaching different coding skills, which is amazing. And I wish I had that at my time, but I didn't. But yeah, I think to sum it up, still learn to code, it's extremely in demand, it really makes your resume stand out whether you want to be a developer or not, and AI is not gonna take over your job as long as you do continue to learn and upskill. I just really don't like that quote that keeps on coming around of, uh, you know, if you use AI tools, then you're safe. It's like, not necessarily. It's, it's okay, like we have to accept that AI will take over some of the smaller tasks and allowing us, if we are continuing to learn and upskill, to focus on larger ones. So I think it's kind of like a, that was way too slow was way too slow. Kind of like a win-win in my opinion. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this though. Do you think AI will take over coders jobs? Do you think it will enhance them maybe? Leave down in the comments and I will see you all soon. Thanks everyone.